Thanks, guys. They say good things come in small packages, and one of the best small packages we've seen recently is the 2D stealth platformer Gunpoint. You play as freelance spy Richard Conway, who was innocently testing out his fancy new pants, which let him survive a fall from any height, until they land him right in the middle of a murder scene. And it should be said that any game that begins with you testing out high-tech pants always gets my full and immediate attention. As a murder suspect, you're on a mission to clear your name by breaking into buildings, stealing the incriminating data and then getting out. But pretty quickly, you'll find yourself embroiled in a much larger conspiracy, leading you on a tale of spurned lovers, corrupt police and industrial espionage. It's all overly complicated, but at the same time hilariously self-aware. And you actually get to make some pretty big choices as the story progresses through conversations and mission choices. Do you lie to the police and try to cover up the fact that you were there on the night of the murder, or do you try and clear your name honestly? Who do you believe? Who do you trust? Conway will bumble his way through all of this lengthy exposition. In the field, though, he's a crafty and agile spy. He can leap entire buildings in a single bound, cling to rooftops and walls, and completely rewire a building's electronics to do his bidding. And you'll need to be sneaky because one shot from a guard and he's toast. But it also encourages lots of crazy risk taking with a clever save system that lets you load up where you were just a few seconds ago. Then there's the rewiring mechanic, which opens up a lot of ways for getting through each level as well. For example, you can wire a security camera so that rather than sound an alarm, it opens a door. Or you can wire a light switch up to a power outlet to stun a passing guard. Or you can even set up more intricate chain reactions. And you'll eventually come across more complex buildings with different coloured circuits, where you'll need to find and hack into each circuit access point before you can start messing around with them. It's a really clever mechanic, and while there's usually a pretty straightforward solution, it can take a couple of creative attempts to achieve your objective. And then it's just a simple hero leap into the subway exit. Away! There's also various goals and side objectives to strive for in each of the missions, such as not being seen at all or being non-violent. I rarely went for them, though, since it's just a bit too much fun to jump on guys and punch them. I did start to feel a little bad after a few too many punches, but then I got over it. It is a very short game, though, taking only about two hours to complete, although you will want to come back and try things a bit differently, especially because there's a whole range of upgrades and unlocks that dramatically change how you play. One lets you leap through glass windows stealthily, for example, while one you get right at the end of the game lets you just kick down all of the doors. And when you finally get yourself a gun, that changes everything again. You can simply point it at the guards to make them freeze on the spot, but if you fire it, then you trigger a countdown before the police arrive, bringing a completely different dynamic to every level. There's just so much this little game gets right. The graphics are funky, the controls are responsive, and to add longevity, there's also a solid level editor, and that should really keep new content coming. Perhaps most impressive of all is this was made by just one guy on a budget of $30, and apparently he's made so much money from it he's been able to quit his job and focus on becoming a full-time game developer. I think it's just a great example of where indie development is at today, so I'm going to give it 8.5.